Another branch of Malay Silat that is becoming more and more popular today is Silat Siamang Laut. Silat Siamang Laut is also known as Kuntau Jawa. It is believed that this Silat originated from a Silat master of Javanese descent by the name of Haji Saleh. The Silat ni asalnya daripada Siamang Laut daripada Pulau Jawa, Indonesia. Dia bertapak di Kedah pada tahun 1905. Gurunya Haji Saleh telah mengajak di Pendang, Kedah. Many people think that this is a weird name for a Silla. There are two versions of stories that have always been linked with the origin of the name. The most popular version is the one about the war against pirates at sea. Siamang laut asalnya seni silat daripada Panglima Ulu Balang Jawa. And the other version linked the name to the action of Siamang, Black Gibbon, grabbing its victim from behind. The emblem of the Siamang Laut School of Silat shows two crossed swords within a circle. The word La is also engraved inside the circle. Lama hitam ialah lamang kesenian. Lamang putih ialah lamang kesucian dan bersih. The crossed words symbolize the fact that Malay warriors are always prepared, ready to draw their weapons at the first sight of danger or threat towards their honor and their families, their religion and nation. The word La is the beginning of the sentence La ilaha illallah, which means there is no God but Allah. This symbolizes the dutifulness of Malay warriors as the servant of Allah as well as upholding the courteous Malay traditional custom. The circle symbolizes the fact that all Malay warriors act as one, working together, conferring and supporting the ties of friendship. Other than Chris, which is the official weapon of Silat and the weapon used by Malay warriors, this school of Silat also uses swords as another of its official weapons. The skill in swordplay is an important element in this Silat. In the olden days, during the Malay Kingdom, the Chris is usually used by warriors and knights. For the ordinary people, they usually use cleavers and machetes. As mentioned before, this silat has attracted the attention of young people to learn and be skillful in silat. And just like any other silat, Silat Siamang Lawud also has its own customs to be followed before new members are accepted in. New members are also reminded to heed their parents, to not quarrel and to use silat as a form of self-defense only. Among the advice strongly reminded by the masses for those who want to learn the skill is to not pick a fight with their siblings and relatives. Among them are getting a few things together like patel leaves, lime and chomper wood, as well as some money as a symbol or a sign to increase knowledge, meaning accepting the instructions of Silat from a true and qualified teacher. As in the norm in Malay custom, everyone who wants to learn Silat has to observe several rituals. And so it is in Silat Siamang Laud. The purpose of this traditional custom is to respect the Silat teacher who will share his knowledge with the students. In addition, new members also have to chew the batel leaves before they start the exercise. Ah, anak 
anak-anak bolehlah belajar. Students also have to wash their face and hands with water mix of lime and trumpet wood beforehand. The customs that has to be followed before one can start to learn the silat shows that the Malay culture are so rich with customs and regulations. Further, there are a few more rules where students who want to learn at the level where weapons are being used. Here, we can see how a silat master teaches the basic learning technique when being attacked by the enemy who uses a sword. Not only the assault was averted, the sword was even easily confiscated. Apabila tamat dengan bermain senjata, kita janganlah bergaduh dengan sedang amarah kita untuk bermain senjata. 